Kaizen is a term originating from Japanese. It represents the philosophy of continuous improvement, that every day is an opportunity to improve. In the 1950s after World War II, the well-respected opinion for Japanese products and their quality didn't exist yet. This was until a man named Dr. Deming, an American quality expert and statistician, was invited to help improve the quality of Japanese products. During his time there, he emphasized the importance of statistical analysis. You will never miss a defect or a method of improving the product if you are constantly tracking its process. Dr. Deming also spoke to the importance of continuous development, or Kaizen, encouraging companies to make small incremental changes to their process. This resulted in the high respect which Japanese companies like Toyota, Sony, and Honda have today for their quality and reliability. Okay, so how is it possible to use this philosophy in your own life? If we track our progress in journals or through numbers, we can start to notice small areas where we can improve ourselves, and instead of making large changes, we can make incremental changes that stick and stay in place for the long-term improvement. Another example of Kaizen in action is the story of the Japanese farmer and author Mansanobu Fukuoka and his struggle with pesticides and fertilizers, which damaged the natural balance of his farm and led to decreasing yields. He stopped using any fertilizers or pesticide and instead focused on how his crops grew and how they interacted with the overall ecosystem of the farm. By seeing that certain combinations of crops would control pests naturally and others would improve soil fertility, he would implement small changes and record the results to see how they would affect the yield and the ecosystem of the farm. He wrote about his journey and his improved crop yield in the book The One Straw Revolution. Through his careful analysis of his farming practices, he was able to not only increase the quality and the quantity of his harvest, but develop a method that was more sustainable and better for the environment. But in our own life, the probability is that you don't own a farm or a factory, but you do have yourself, your mind, your habits, and your productivity. How can we apply the philosophy of Kaizen in our everyday lives? First, we need to identify areas in which we want to improve. Like with Fukuoka, or Dr. Deming, there are reasons why they needed to implement changes at the start. For the factory, it was to improve the overall quality of the end result. So you need to find areas in your life that you're not entirely happy with. Maybe you waste too much time on social media, on YouTube or video games. Maybe your productivity isn't as good as you like it to be. The only way for you to find out what you need to improve is to reflect on your actions and your thoughts in the past. Then with that knowledge, set achievable goals. In order to make small incremental changes, you have to set a meaningful goal to reach. Whether you want to get your screen time down by a couple hours or want to eat healthier, the goals have to be achievable enough that you can notice the small changes making an impact over time. Then focus on the process. Instead of focusing on what you will achieve, focus on how you will achieve it. Dr. Deming's goals were to improve the product quality, but it didn't start with a good product. It started with looking at the process and making changes to that to get to the end product. So if your goal is to stop using your phone as much, then you should notice the times of day where you're most susceptible to going on it, like after work or in the morning, and instead of going on it, replace it with a different habit, or maybe wait five or 10 minutes and see if you still want to go on it. But making small changes to the habit will work when you notice where they need to be implemented. Finally, practice self-reflection. To make sure that the changes you're making are affecting the end result, you need to track the changes and see if what you did was worth it. I recommend keeping a journal or keeping a log of how your continuous improvement is going. That way you can look back and appreciate how far you've come. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed.